The upcoming iPad Mini 7, while not anticipated to be a significant upgrade over the iPad Mini 6, is nonetheless expected to introduce features that could make it a standout device. Despite the larger screens offered by the iPad Air 5 and the iPad Pro M2, the compact size of the iPad Mini has its own unique appeal, particularly for reading novels, a task for which I typically use a Kindle Paperwhite 2021. However, my perspective has recently shifted. After spending a week comparing the experience of reading manga on a Kindle Paperwhite and an iPad Mini 6, I found the latter to be superior. Furthermore, the iPad Mini 6 has become my preferred device for watching videos, due to its portability within my apartment. This unexpected fondness for the iPad Mini has piqued my interest in the upcoming iPad Mini 7. While there are not many rumors about the iPad Mini 7, the ones that do exist suggesting minor update at best with a faster processor, an improved LCD display, and potentially new colors. Despite the modest nature of these updates, my enjoyment of the iPad Mini 6 has led me to consider purchasing its successor. Here are the reasons why. Number 1. Faster Processor According to Mark Gurman, a reporter for Bloomberg and a reliable source of Apple News, the iPad Mini 7 will not undergo a major redesign. Instead, the most significant update will be a processor upgrade. The iPad Mini 6 uses the same A15 Bionic chip found in the iPhone 13 Pro which is quite fast, but I am looking for a bit more speed. There are rumors that the iPad Mini 7 will feature an A16 Bionic chip or an A17 Pro chip. There has been some speculation about the possibility of an A18 or M1 chip, but this seems unlikely as no credible sources have mentioned this. Therefore, the A16 and A17 Pro chips appear to be the most probable options. While the iPad Mini 6 is not slow in terms of performance, I can notice the difference when switching between it and the M2-powered iPad Pro. I am not expecting the iPad Mini 7 to match the performance of the iPad Pro, but any increase in speed would be welcome. Additionally, an A16 or A17 chip could potentially improve battery efficiency. The iPad Mini 6 lasted nearly 11 hours in our battery test, so I anticipate that the updated tablet will have a longer battery life, albeit not by much. Number 2. Resolution of Jelly Scrolling Issue The iPad Mini 6 is an excellent device, but it suffers from a significant problem known as jelly scrolling where the two sides of the display scroll at different speeds. This issue is more noticeable in portrait mode and the varying scrolling speeds create a distracting wiggle when navigating up and down the page. Despite Apple's assertion that the jelly scrolling of the iPad Mini 6 is not a problem, the issue has led to a class action lawsuit. Fortunately, the iPad Mini 7 could rectify this major issue. As reported, the tipster Instant Digital via McCrumors claims that Apple has resolved the problem. According to their post on the Chinese social network Weibo, a change in the way the screen is assembled has led to an improvement in the phenomenon. While the machine translation of the leaker's post is not perfect, it suggests that the jelly scrolling issue will be minimized or resolved with the iPad Mini 7. This is indeed a promising development. While using the iPad Mini 6 for reading manga, which does not necessitate vertical scrolling or for watching videos in horizontal orientation, I have not encountered the issue of jelly scrolling. However, this problem becomes apparent when I browse the internet and need to scroll through websites. It is my hope that Apple will rectify this issue in the forthcoming model. Number 3. More Storage Options The iPad Mini 7 is rumored to feature upgraded cameras, among other improvements. While this is a welcome enhancement, I personally do not utilize the camera function on tablets. There have also been discussions about potential new colors, thinner bezels, and a 120Hz refresh rate. However, as no credible sources have confirmed these aspects, I will refrain from delving into them in detail. One aspect that has not been discussed in the rumors, but which I would be delighted to see, is the provision of more storage options. This is a feature that would certainly persuade our colleague Alex Waro to choose the iPad Mini 7 over any other tablet. Excluding the iPad Pro, all iPads come with a default storage space of 64GB. Given that nearly 10GB is consumed by iPadOS, users are effectively left with approximately 54GB of storage which can be quickly exhausted in today's digital age. An upgrade to 256 gigabytes of storage is available, but it comes with an additional cost of $150, bringing the total to $650 before taxes. What I am seeking is an iPad Mini 7 with 128 gigabytes of storage. This would provide ample space for downloading manga, comics, and even videos for offline viewing during travel. While this storage option would increase the price, it would be less costly than upgrading to 256 gigabytes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the exciting features of the upcoming iPad Mini 7. 
We hope you found this review informative and engaging. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your fellow tech enthusiasts. Your support helps us create more content like this. For the latest updates on tech trends and product reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We'll see you in our next video. Until then, peace out. Why I'm seeking